Hello and welcome to Voice Bites from Damn Good Voices. Today I'm joined by comedian, singer, impressionist and voiceover artist. He can do it all. It's Alan Stewart. Hey, Alan. Hi, Joel. I can do it all. <laughs> you can. You're just a shapeshifter. That's what you are. I'm a what? A shapeshifter. A shapeshifter. Never been called that before, but I'll go for that. I'll go for that. Well, there you go. I'll, I'll stick it on. The next one we do, I'll just stick that right on the end. Okay, so I wanted to talk about the dreaded auditions. Uh, what are some things that clients will be listening out for when you send in a demo? Well, I really think you've got to do the best you can possibly do, uh, whether it's technically or whether it's just in your performance. I remember in the old days, you would send a cassette in if it was a song and you would say, well, this is not really very good, but it gives you an idea. That really is wrong. You have to send in the best possible thing you can do. Even if you've got to do it a dozen times or 20 times, when you feel that it's right, that's what you've got to send in. Yeah, definitely. And there's no excuse, is there? We've got plenty of time. When you audition in person, you might have five minutes in the room to make an impression. But if you are recording from home, there's not really an excuse to not do it to your best ability. Just keep, keep at it until you think, oh, that yeah, that's starting to sound good now. When agents are sending you the requirements for the auditions, how important is it to stick to exactly what they're asking for? Well, I think it's got to be exactly. I mean, if they're looking for for an exact voice, then you, there's no point in sending something that you think is okay. You've got to send exactly what they're looking for or as close as you can get to it. Yeah, I think even, even down to the file names as well. I know that our agent sends us briefs saying, can you label the file this? And if you don't do that, then what's the point in them sending it on? They probably won't send it on. Do you have any audition nightmare stories? I'd like to hear if you do have any. Well, I must admit, I'm not a good auditioner when it comes to acting roles or whatever. I've never liked it. But the worst one I can remember was for a quiz show. And the producer got me in and there was a couple other people there and we were doing some voices. And I said, OK, here's the top of the show. Welcome to the... Ch and I got it wrong. Time after time after time. And I started sweating. Sweat pouring off of me. I started rubbing the light. Oh, my God, this was terrible. Eventually, the producer said, look, don't worry about doing it from memory. Just read it. So I got the board and I went, I, and I got it wrong. And the producer said, oh, for fuck's sake, he's dyslexic as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's horrendous. Terrible. I gave up. I gave up. I said, I can't do this. I'm going home. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it fills me with hope that even you have some audition nightmare stories. Oh. I've got many of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, thank you so much for joining me today on Voice Bites. I've really enjoyed talking to you. Pleasure. Guys, I've been Joel Wood and you've been listening to the multi-talented Alan Stewart. You can check out his profile down in the description below. Please click subscribe and stay tuned for more Voice Bites.